what's up guys? Uh, it's Sunday, oh, it's Super Bowl Sunday today. So yeah, today's mostly gonna be, I'm going over to Steph's house, and we're going over to her pap's house, having some lunch. Then we're going back to my house to watch Super Bowl. Um, I don't know what team you're voting for, but I'm for the Falcons. A little bit of a gloomier day out here for Super Bowl Sunday, but you know, at least it's not snowing or raining or any of that. I love winter, guys, don't get me wrong, but you know, it's getting a little old having all the trees with no leaves on them. It being cold out every day. It being kind of gloomy. I'm ready for spring to have everything start coming back up. To be able to go back out in shorts and a t-shirt. And go out and geocache and not get freezing cold. Stuff like that. I'm ready for that. But I, I am a winter person. But this year I'm just kind of ready for spring. So Steph's mom and sister recently went to Disney World. And they got me this shirt. It's a baseball cut shirt, three well, three-quarter sleeve, some people call it, and I love it. I really do love it because I'm a big Disney fan, and I love these type of shirts. They're really nice, and it's not a heavy one either, so it's going to be cooler in the summer when it gets real hot outside. Thank you, guys. I decided today would be the perfect day to take a longboard ride. What I'm riding is a Arbor. I love this board. why you hear me so many times say I'm going longboarding when I pennyboard is because I usually longboard I don't usually pennyboard around where I live so I get my long pennyboard out and I just say longboard just out of habit I get asked a lot people are like where do you longboard at and I'm like well I live in PA and I live in practically as you can see the middle of nowhere so yeah they're like where do you longboard at I'm like on those roads. Just think, no cars, well barely little cars, not many people, and they're pretty hilly so I mean I've hit, I've hit 30 miles an hour on some of these roads on my longboard. So they're pretty good roads to longboard on. So I'm about to bomb this hill that goes all the way down there into a really tight curve but I tell, I'm not lying this road just goes downhill from there and keeps going down down downhill probably for the next mile so I'll try to time lapse it but I'm gonna keep going I won't stop give it a few months that's all what Pennsylvania is gonna look like man that's that's nice looking spring is coming I've always wondered what's up there you know I've always wanted to go but I think it's private property, but I don't know. There's no trespassing, no, no trespassing signs, but I don't know. Still sketchy to me. If you guys can see those little boxes over there, which might be a little hard, those are actually for beekeeping. People keep bees back there, which is pretty cool. I mean, I, I don't go back there because that is private property. I know that, but I mean, it's cool. I would like to learn to how they do it someday. That'd be cool, I think. It seriously just looks like a whole nother world back here. Like, I just want to walk through there. I think it'd be cool. Like, it looks fun to do that, but I don't know who the owner is. I really don't feel like getting the cops called on me. But seriously, it just looks like a whole other world. It's such a fun place just to walk through. It clears up a little here, but man. It really sucks that I can't walk through there. Maybe one day. Kind of looks like some cinematic shot with those cows just staring down off the hill. They're mooing pretty loud. That's what caught my attention. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it does kind of look cinematic. You guys can actually see where this determined groundhog ate a hole right through the pavement. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. So my hair's kind of going a little crazy, but people probably think I'm a hooligan. Walking down the side of the road with a longboard. In the middle of the country, what else would I be doing? Being a hooligan? I mean, people wave at me, but they're probably like, man, that kid's up to no good. Just about back. That was a good longboard ride. I'm exhausted. But it was a good one. It's a really nice day out here. Crazy nice. Guys, look. Steph has completed the Eiffel Tower metal sculpture thing we got. It took her a while, and it was hard, but she did it all by herself. 
So I guess everyone knows by now, but the Patriots won the Super Bowl, and it was crazy. It was by some, I don't know what happened, but Falcons lost it, and they lost. Which, I'm not as upset as I thought I would be, because for one thing, Tom Brady deserved that win. As you saw, they came back, and the Falcons just let it let it go. And he deserves it. So, But guys, I wanted to say one more thing. That almost teaches you something just because when you think about it, if you're down and out and you feel like you're in the third quarter and nothing's going right, there's always time to turn it around and make something of it. And you know what? Sometimes I feel like I'm just down and out, but maybe it's my third quarter and it's just time for that change. Like I think I said in one of my very first couple of vlogs, that I felt like 2017 is going to be a year with a big change and something great's going to happen. And, you know, I feel like that thing is coming up very soon. So, guys, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for everything, guys. And, you know what? I'm going to put a wrap on that for tonight. You guys have a good night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.